We're finally starting Data Live Season 3. I hear this season is kind of botched in terms of the pacing and whatnot. But this is the season that Origami also pops off in the second half. I think there's something more to do with how her parents start. There's going to be some crazy plot twist regarding that, right? Because surely some random beam from above just didn't come down and kill them. There's got to be more to that. I'm pretty excited to start the season. Let's begin. We're going to do a little recap of the first ever Space Quake. The art style already looks a bit different. Because, like, the Space Quake never actually had tornado wind stuff like this. It, it almost looked transparent, right? In season one and two. Who's that, though? Did Toka make something cursed? No, no, no. What is it? What the fuck is it? Why is the color purple? Everybody playing their favorite. <laughs> no! This is cursed! Uh-uh, uh-uh. But we got an E for Toka. I also just realized, you know, as of the movie too, Kagwe started differentiating herself from Yuzuru in terms of what she wears. It's like more darker colors, right? You gotta try it. You got to put the lollipop in there too. Oh, cursed. Wait, the stick itself too, you know? Oh no! Uh, yo. We definitely need Kamael for this. <laughs> it's gonna take some damage. Maybe it's good. Who knows? It's good? No. Really? Somehow, that toxic sludge is alright. What do you go? <laughs> what is she doing? Is she stalking? Outside? Can she even hear from that far away? Knowing Origami, she probably has like surveillance tape and like, you know, audio things in here. Miku's here with spirit and, you know, on TV. <laughs> Still calling out. Wait, but the TV? Huh? How did she? That's, that's kind of creepy because the TV was like almost like listening and Miku was anyways. Hello. You, you can't do that, Toka, but I, I get it. Because you're a little dense. What are you got me? What, what are you doing? She's getting closer, slowly. Kotori, you're not going to do it too? Miku looks ridiculous. Oh, white ribbon Kotori is out. <laughs> so quick. How did she just... <laughs> I don't even know how that shit works though, man. Origami. What? Is that her? It's her, isn't it? Actually delivered a hot pot. Hello. I bet it's actually good. Hmm. Don't, is there panties in there? What is it? Soft turtle. Oh, no, no, no. This is all shit to, you know, <laughs> accentuate your sexual health, right? <laughs> no! Bye. Still funny as ever. Is it really a good life though if you ignore the harm points? Like we're fucking dying, like space quakes are still happening where there's like imminent threats everywhere. We're fucking risking our lives every day. Bro fucking has to like kill himself while healing up to use his powers. Is this really all right? I mean, if you have a harm, I guess so. Almost kind of sounds like couldn't we, but it's not, it's not. Oh? Oh, oh? Kind of looks like a witch, like Halloween themed. I saw like a, 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 like a pumpkin. <laughs> Nice angle. Thank you, cameraman. <laughs> what? Green hair. Yeah, look, jack-o'-lantern. Looks like a Halloween theme girl. Chino! Focus! Oh, we're not scared, baby. I want you to bite. Oh, here we go. The dialogue lines. What's the most degenerate one? Uh, three. That three. Fondle boobs. I agree. Disgusting. Oh, of course, because you're the fucking lollicon. <laughs> Back of your knees? Bro, into knee. What well, fucking knee pits? Is that a lollipop landing on his head? Fondle or tits? Fondle. Option three. Oh. He's going all uh woo. He's going all goo goo gaga, mommy. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I am baby and you are a mommy now. That's the witch. 
ちょっとあの、ちょっとあの、ちょっとあの、ちょっとあの、ちょっとあの、ちょっとあの、ちょっとあの、ちょっとあの、ちょっとあの、ちょっとあの、ちょっとあの、ちょっとあの、ちょっ
Oh, not the teacher, too. What do we do? What do we do? What did we do? Not you two! What did we do to him? Huh? <laughs> this fucking kid! You're cheating on your 2D girlfriend! Shido versus Shido. Last time we were up here versus Kurumi season one, right? That's so weird, the voice coming out of this face. Hey! They got caught. Guys, look, there's two Shidos. Will they be able to figure out who the real Shido is? I feel like both of them should be able to figure out who the real Shido is. They're both the most loyal. I, oh shit, which one's the real one? I think that's Natsumi, right? I, I think that is. Wait, what if they decide to take e one for each? That's Natsumi, right? I think it is. Yes, the one in the left position was Natsumi. Smell. What are you, a dog? Wonder how Origami figured it out. Huh? Shido, wait, what, what the? Oh! <laughs> I forget exactly how ridiculous meticulous she is. There was a lot of that in season one. Yes. Yes. Haniel. But is this really her true form? We didn't see her true form though, at least I didn't. Okay, bye. She's gonna fuck off on her broom again. <laughs> Alright. What is up with her? She's a bit different. She's just playing all these different games. She's not trying to fight us, right? Everything about her is just games. What could she be doing now? No way she changed into Kotori, right? Man, the things Kyohei would do to get this service. The whole way to go around this to get her approval is basically we have to accept her actual appearance no matter what. Like, you don't need to be like someone else. We'll just accept you for who you are and that'll be done, but... Huh. I love how her fucking male best friend is still in one of them. <laughs> He's actually pretty funny. Who could it be? We got a 1 in 12 chance, guys. I kind of want it to be the male best friend because it's just hilarious. <laughs> or maybe one of the gross girls. Natsumi's design is fantastic. I'm all about them bigger sister types. Ooh, but this whole... Her entire powers are very, like, comedic. It's kind of just all goofy children's games. And even, like, even what we're doing right now. Because, like, usually we just straight up fight to the death with the spirits. But now we're just playing all these different games. And, hey, it's a little bit refreshing. It's a little bit different taste, right? Who of the 12 could it be? I feel like... It, it doesn't make sense for me to, uh, like, like, to just guess one of the 12 would be too random. I think it'd be really funny if it was a male best friend or one of the gross girls. But what if it's not one of the 12? It's somebody ent else entirely. I don't even know. Are we gonna get some kind of crazy mindfuck? We'll find out. But hey, if you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.